I'm finally at a point where I'm very comfortable with uh, my backup system and everything here at the house. And um, I just wanted to briefly show everybody kind of what I, I have set up. I had a couple people asking questions about, you know, how much space is it taking up, um, how it's all configured and everything. So what we got here is like we're on my main desktop right now, okay? And you can see if you just go to uh, start and type in backup, brings up the Windows 7 backup and restore utility. Now, I configured this backup to run nightly, and it will show you here. It runs every day at 2 a.m., and I have them. I have all my computers scheduled at different times and everything. So, um, you know, each of them are doing a backup individually, at, at, not at the same time. So. Um, Basically, what I have set up here, and let me log into my admin account. And that's another video I'll be going over is UAC and stuff, but for now, this is just a backup. You can see I sent it to a uh, network location. Okay, it's on it's on one of my servers. If you go next. You can either let Windows choose what to backup, and that that'll probably work for a lot of people, but. There's unnecessary folders in there that I don't care to back up, and I, I want some special folders that I have set up to be backed up. So by default, I believe all of these libraries are selected to be backed up. But what I want is, because I have a folder called bin that has some scripts and stuff that run, um, also a temp folder that I use for some of my PowerShell scripting, and then um, all of my C. Davis folder. Um, that's that's the files I get backed up that I can easily and quickly restore if need be, which I had used once and it worked out great. Um, also, I'm including this system image of the drive. Uh, this is actually, uh, I was contemplating whether or not to do this, but I recently set up a RAID 1 with two one terabyte drives, so I have a terabyte of space available for you know backup software, pictures, all that stuff. So I figured, oh, let's just do it. So it's including a system image of this entire um, uh, C drive. So just in case if something just crashes, a hard drive crashes or something, I'll throw another hard drive in there and just restore it to image, restore the image. Um, now you go next, and it'll just give you a summary of it and everything. And this is where you can change your schedule. So I have it set up to run um, every day at 2 a.m. Pretty simple, right? All right, let's just cancel that. Now this is on my main PC. Now also here on Shannon's. Shannon's PC, same thing set up. Okay, it's got uh, um, every day at 4 a.m. So two hours later, it's going to run this basically the same exact backup, uh, same location. Well, actually, it's a different location. I have it. I have each one set up on a different folder, and you can see here. Oops. Um, under my my servers uh, network path here, I have nightly backups folder which is where I place all these backups in automatically this is all done automatically at night um, so for instance on S Davis PC you can go in here you can see this is this is uh, what Windows creates you can actually go in here and browse some of this stuff but um, basically when you run a restore from within this utility if you want to restore your files it's gonna go out and look through here itself and you'll be able to pull out a file really quickly maybe I'll show you that too later but um, or if you need to restore the image it's also stored right here now as far as space goes let's look at this let's look at Shannon's computer all right she's got a 232 gig drive and she's got 180 gigs free so she's using about 52 gigs on this on this computer all right so if we look at how much space her entire disk image and all the files are taken up on the server you're looking at about 53 gigs and um, so that's not bad actually for a system image <clears throat> as well so it's just making an image and using what you've it's not making an image and and using the entire hard drive space it's just using what you your you know what files you have what what how much space you're using on your drive so mine's gonna be a little bit more because I have videos and stuff in here for you know the recordings and everything so with my folder, I'm using up 126 gigs. And if you wanted to um, actually see this, let's see. What was I going to I forgot what I was going to show you. Um, 
backup set. You can see now what what here's how it happens. This is how it works. So you make your first backup, and it's going to create probably the largest backup file, 30 gigs. That's the first one, and it's going to do kind of like incrementals. So if files change, it's going to add them there. Boom. You know, some of them are fairly large. Some of them are, you know, that's under a gig. This one I think was large because I did a video on this day, 7.52 gigs. So, anyways, it's kind of how it's saved. Um, with the images, uh, looks like it just does an image a night, so to wipe the last image, so your your hard drive's not, your backup drive's not going to take up too much space. Now, also, you can see the way I set it up here. I have both my servers here, so this is. Let's get rid of that. Here's my main domain controller. This is where I run the, the Windows Server backups. This is where I run, um, you know, the the file services. So within here, it's pretty easy to set this up as well. Let's just check out the backup schedule, and then we can take a look at the other server as well. Um, basically, the same thing I have set up on this one. I have set up on this server too. This is the virtual machine, the Hyper-V machine. Okay, so here you can see it's doing a bare metal <clears throat> recovery system state. Um, let's go ahead and modify it. You can see here what I chose instead of just doing a full server, which would, probably would have worked, but because I have an R drive on here or a RAID, I don't want to back this one up because this is already RAIDed and it's already backed up and it's a ton of it's a lot of a lot of data. I just want, I'm worried about the C drive in case something happens. So if you go next, you can see what hap what what it's doing here. It's doing bare metal system state, um, the entire C drive. In fact, we can. Oh, it's an exclusion. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Add items. Okay. Okay. Here's where you can add items. See, I just unchecked the RAID one. So it's basically doing a whole C drive backup in case any files get screwed up too. So that and I have the same thing set up on this server, and so. Basically, what I want to show you here is if we go to the RAID, and I got files, and we got backups, nightly backups. Let's take a look at this entire folder here. It's only taking up 208 gigs, and that's spanned across four machines, two servers and two desktops. That's not bad, to be honest. I mean, for, for recovery purposes. Uh, but this one's just a, a brief video to kind of show you what I have going on and and a lot of this stuff um, is scripted and I can show you here I have I wrote my own documentation for it um, so nightly computer backups I got uh, both servers the computers um, also I have well this is kind of off topic but uh, this mind touch database too it's a it's a website I have running on a Windows server that gets automatically backed up um, and then uh, and there's a couple scripts that manage that and schedule tasks, but for the most part, at least for the computer backups and the data backups, uh, that's how I have it set up. And it's to me, it, it's a lifesaver, and it's I can, I, I can, uh, I can rest a little bit easier. You know what I mean? It's I'm not stressing about losing our pictures or losing uh, any kind of data or anything. I can quickly get back up and going if I need to. So, all right, guys, talk to you later.